Hey guys, so today I am finally getting to a Coastal Sense 88 Shimmer Palette look. And what it is is just a simple everyday kind of look. Um, it's like a bronzy brown neutral um, eye. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Now I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into A3. I'm taking this light golden color right on the inner third of my eye and tear duct. It's a really pretty highlight color and it really reminds me of Max Nylon which you all probably know by now that's one of my favorite eyeshadows. This is just like a shade darker than the highlight color that we just applied on the inner third. And what I'm just going to do with that is pat it all on my lid. And with that color over the uh, jumbo eyeshadow pencil that we applied, which was iced mocha, it's just going to make it look a little bit darker and I think it brings out the gold in this look a little bit more. It really helps to keep those shadows sticky on your lid as well. So I'm just packing that on. Now what we're going to do is take a round crease brush, like this one here, and I'm going to go into A8. Okay, this is just like a bronzy color. It's a soft brown bronze kind of color. I'm just taking this on the outer third of my lid and kind of just blending it in my crease and a little bit in the outer V. Okay, so this color is like a corally orange kind of color. I'm going to take this, I'm going to start it right in the middle of my crease and then blend it out. I don't want to take it in with that uh, color you basically want to stop where you um, left off with that first color we put in our, our inner corner right on um, in our tear duct. So see how that color stops there? You don't want to go in too deep with this color, especially because it's got like a reddish pink tones to it, orange kind of colors. Um, so I'm keeping this on the from the half of my crease all the way to the outer. Okay. So I'm just creating a little bit of a, a, t a tint of color right there in our crease. If you can see that. And if this color overpowers, like if it's kind of, if you have smaller lids um, and your crease is kind of overlapping on your lid, you can always take your flat shader brush and go back into that color that we put on our lid so that way it's a little bit brighter because you don't want this color to be all over your lid. So if that um, is the case, then you can always go back and fix that up. Okay, now I'm just going to clean up the corner a little bit. Just using my blush brush. Okay, now I want to go in the crease, or I'm sorry, the outer corner with a dark brown color, but I want it to be matte. So since this is a shimmer palette, I am going to take um, a color outside of this palette. And I'm just using, a, like I said, a matte dark brown, and this just happens to be my NYX single eyeshadow in dark brown. I'm going to just take a round, a small round crease brush. This is my Essence of Beauty brush. I got it at CVS. I'm just taking that color and I'm going to create a darker outer V. So I'm really only going to take this color and create that outer corner. Like that. You don't even have to blend it. Because we're just going to build on this color. And you can make it as dark or as soft as you'd like. And what I'm going to do is take a larger fluffy crease brush like this one here and I'm just going to blend it out and you're just really softening up the edges and kind of taking it into the crease a little bit like that 
And when you blend it out like this, it's really just moving all the color around in whatever motion that you're moving it. So you're really going to lose some of that um, darkness because now you're moving it around in your crease. And you're going to want to, if you want it, leave it soft like that because I know this is a day kind of daytime look. Um, you can just leave it as that and move on to the next step or you can um, build on that color and make it a little bit darker. Okay, and that is pretty much it for the lid. Um, what, what I'm going to do now is, um, just to finish it off, I'm going to take a larger flat shader brush. I'm going to go back into A3, which is that original color we applied in the inner corner. And I'm just going to very softly apply this right under the arch of my brow. And you want to be careful, just slightly pat the brush onto that color because it's very pigmented and since we have a lot of shimmer going on on our lid, we don't want it to be too much shimmer. So just very, very ever so lightly apply that. And now what I'm going to do, moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to take a very much smaller round crease brush. Um, again, this is an Essence of Beauty brush. And what I'm going to do is pretty much mimic what we have on our lid down on my lower lash line. So I'm going to, I've already have that A3 from when we first applied it, that highlight color in my tear duct here. Then what I'm going to do is take A6, which was that color we applied all over our lid. I'm just going to smudge that under, kind of connecting it with the A3. Then I'm going to take the uh, A8, which was that light bronze color. And I'm going to take this, smudging it from halfway on my lower lash line to the outer. So the whole outer half of that. And then I'm going to take B8, which was that corally orangish color. And I'm just going to kind of smudge those two together. Like that. And now what I'm going to do, if you couldn't guess, I'm going to apply the dark brown, the matte color. Uh, on the outer third. We're going to connect it with the crease. So I'm taking it and then I'm bringing it up, connecting it like that. And again, you can make this as dark as you'd like or as soft. It's up to you how you want this to come out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do from here is apply my uh, NYX black eyeliner pencil. I'm going to put it in my waterline and my tight line. And then I'm going to apply my uh, L'Oreal hip gel liner on my l upper lash line. And I'm just going to very, very, very lightly bring it out just a tiny bit like you can see here. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my mascara. And I'll be right back to show you the rest okay, of the Okay, and that is it for this look. It's just a really nice neutral kind of smoky eye so it's perfect for the daytime going to school or work. Um, to show you what I have on the rest of my face I have for the blush I use my 42 double stack by Coastal Sense also and I actually put on this orange colored oh I've had the worst luck today. If you saw that orange colored blush I applied that on the apples of my cheeks and then I went over it with my MAC MSF, and this is in Refined. Drop that, too. For my lips, I applied my NYX Indian Pink Lipstick. And this is also a corally orangey kind of color. It's kind of bright. And then over that, I applied my MAC Juice, my MARC Juice Gems. And this is in Papaya, so I just gave it some shine to it. So, um, of course, I'm incorporating this look with the color on my shirt, um, that orangey kind of coral color. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it took me forever to finally do a Coastal Scents Shimmer Palette look. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any requests or questions or anything like that. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.